guys, welcome back to my channel. Hope you're all well. So today I just wanted to do a quick video on my traveling tips. Now, I don't want to be braggy or being seen as anything like that, but I have traveled quite a bit. I've actually traveled to 26 countries so far. So many more to see, but I feel like I've learned a lot, a lot since my very first trip. So I thought I'd share my tips and tricks with you guys and hopefully you're planning a trip very soon and I'm so excited and envious of you. So I have 13 tips for you today. Now, take of it what you will, 13 superstitious maybe, I don't know. I did cut it down, I didn't want to make the video too long, so we'll just go with it. 13 tips. So my first tip is that when traveling to a foreign country, please just learn the simple things. That means, hello, thank you, can you help me? Basics, the absolute basics. And sorry, I'm also, I have my little tips on my phone. As well as some common courtesies and just knowledge of the customs of the country you're going to. That's gonna make sure that you don't get into any trouble, as well as it makes it a lot more easier when you're getting around if you can just approach somebody and ask for help. My second tip is to take intimate laundry bags. So, this one's from Bras and Things. I got it a million years ago, but you can also buy them from places like Kmart and I'm sure like travel stores like Kathmandu and Anaconda or whatever they're called. But Kmart have them for like two or three dollars. They're super cheap. So the idea with these is if you're on a long trip, you can put all your dirty clothes in it. It helps to keep everything separated and you'll know what's clean, what's dirty, and nothing gets mixed up, nothing, your clean clothes don't get dirty. It's just really, really handy to have these whilst traveling. Now, tip number three, it may seem obvious, but a lot of people forget. When you travel to a foreign country, a lot of your plugs won't work, so make sure you take a travel converter. That way you're able to charge your camera, your phone, your laptop, whatever you take with you, your GoPro. It would be the absolute worst to get to a foreign country. Obviously in airports you can buy them, but it's a lot harder to buy a converter for your country in a foreign country, if that makes sense. It's so much easier to go buy an Australian adapter for America, Asia, wherever, Europe. Like it's so much easier to do it in Australia. Tip number four follows on with the power converter. Take a power board. So in most hotels, wherever you go, there will actually only be like one, max two power points. Also, these guys can be kind of pricey. Like, it's like $15 or so, and you have to buy two or three of them. It's kind of a waste of money. If you take a power converter, plug that into your wall, plug the power converter in, hello, you've got four plugs. You can now charge your phone, your laptop, your GoPro, Whatever. You can put your hair straightener in and straighten your hair while everything else is charging. It's just super handy. You can get everything charged in minimal time. I just, I swear by this. Most people when I tell them, take a power chart, power board, they're like, why did I never think of this? It's just one of those things that seems obvious, but it's easy, easy to forget. My tip number five would be to take sunscreen slash zinc that sort of stuff. So insect repellent, that's another good one. Those sort of things can be pricey. Australians, we're not used to the sun in other places. We, our sun's very different here. So we do need to buy the sunscreen and take it with us. I remember, I can't remember where it was actually. I think somewhere in Europe and they were charging, it was like $40 for sunscreen, which is absolutely insane. Save yourself the drama, just go to Priceline, pick up a sunscreen for like $10 and you're covered. Tip number six is to download all your travel apps. So I'm talking Agoda, Hostel Bookers, Booking.com, Translate apps, Blah Blah Car, those sort of things. Download them all before you go, make sure you're prepared. That way, once you get anywhere, you can book things easy. Don't need to worry about downloading things on Wi-Fi, being really slow. It's all there ready for you. You can just jump on, make a booking really quickly, and you're on your way. Tip number seven is to not take too many toiletries. You can go crazy overboard and they weigh a lot, a lot, a lot. It's so easy and so simple to just go buy a shampoo, conditioner, body wash, those simple basics, toothpaste. At the local convenience store over there, 
it doesn't cost much, it's cheap, it's easy, you don't have to worry about anything opening and spilling in your luggage, which could be an absolute drama because washing laundry overseas can be pricey. My tip number eight is to shop in your local supermarkets and also the local fruit markets. So you'll be able to get bargains and be able to travel a lot more cheaply if you buy fruits and snacks and vegetables at the supermarket where the locals do rather than eating out every night. If you have a self-contained apartment, if there's a few of you staying together, it's a lot cheaper than sometimes pitching in to stay in a hostel. You just want to pitch in for an apartment, you can cook. A lot of hostels have cooking facilities as well, which makes it amazing. You can cook your own dinner. It, like for a few of you, it could only cost you like, I don't know, five euro, maybe less. I'd say less and you won't get that for a meal out. Also, if you don't have the opportunity to cook your own food, try eating two streets back from the main boulevard. So there's always these strips of local, like the really fancy restaurants, and some of them can be super, super pricey. If you generally go back like two streets, it's dramatically cheaper. And that's generally where the locals eat, which means you're gonna get amazing local cuisine and experience what it's really about. My tip number nine is pack extra underwear. And once you think you've packed enough underwear, pack more underwear. The worst thing ever would be being caught overseas with no underwear. <laughs> Sometimes it can be really hard to wash your clothes and it can get really expensive if you have to wash them all the time. So I know myself, I will recycle my clothes. I'll rewear them if they're not too bad. But underwear, obviously you cannot wear underwear again. Make sure you pack enough underwear so you have always got fresh underwear and then at least you feel clean. <laughs> tip number 10 is to try and look as much as possible in advance. Now I'm not talking months and months. Like try and think about where do I want to be in one week. Making sure that you've got those sort of plans. Like that's what I'm talking about when I say book in advance. Don't just turn up somewhere. It works a lot of the time but we have been caught out and we've arrived at a place and not realizing that there's some festival, there's something actually on and there's no accommodation anywhere. We had to actually drive like an extra 100 kilometers to the next town to get accommodation. So if you had a thought in advance, hey, where do you want to be? Map it out a little bit, but we were winging it. So it's one of those things you learn from it. <laughs> Tip number 11 is to take a backpack. So when we traveled across Europe, this was our backpack. Now, it's Matt's backpack. I'm not sure where he actually purchased it. I think he purchased it possibly in Canada. It was designed for snowboarding. It has so many little pockets. It's got the supportive straps around the back. So when you're wearing it, you are fully supported. You don't even feel like you're wearing anything. It's got so many little like secret hidey hole type things. There's got little like sleeves down here so you can stick like a snow shovel or whatever, but we would stick our go pole, so the GoPro pole down there, and we just could carry so much in this, and then we pack it all up and we'd be off for the day, and this thing just saved us. It was amazing and so handy to have. Tip number 12 is to prepare for things to not go as planned. Now, we had flight delays, we almost missed a ferry, we turned up and there was no ferries. Things just sometimes, they don't go to plan, but hey, that's half the fun. So you just got to have a really light heart about it. Just prepare that things will not be 100% perfect all the time. And whatever happens, happens. And my final tip would be to take a currency card. So this one may seem really basic as well, but a lot of people forget. When you use your normal ATM and bank card overseas, you can incur things like international charges, um, additional exchange rates, all sorts of hidden fees. So when you um, load your money onto a travel card, it's all loaded in whatever dollars you want. This one allows multi-currencies. So we could have USD, Euro, Pounds, whatever we needed. It was all on one card and you're able to withdraw it in, your in the country in the local currency. So, so handy to have. All right guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and hopefully you learned a tip or two for your next big trip. Make sure you leave me a comment below and let me know where you're traveling to next. I'd be so envious to see where you're all traveling to. Also, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. I really do appreciate your support and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. In the opposite hand and I face it downwards. 
And then drag the hair 